Hey guys, it's NC Gamer. Today I'm doing a video on how to set up BizHawk for Legend of Zelda Randomizer and Multi World. Uh, what BizHawk is, it's an emulator that allows you to play uh, like different types of ROMs on PC, like uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, or like any type of ROM like that. Um, we're going to be going through a link called Mido's House, and what Mido House is, is it's basically a room where uh, you can set up certain games for like for multi worlds and stuff like that, so it'd be like an external tool. Uh, another thing about Mido's House is it, it's a new feature that was added uh, that makes it to where you don't have to have a host that can port forward their IP or anything like that. Uh, so it does all the work for you so it's simple and easy to go through so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to this link right here I'll have it down in the description uh, so it's Mido's house what you do is uh, you click on uh, download uh, you'll select where you want it to download it at uh, download uh, once it's done you'll run it what you do is you come over here run it uh, it's not dangerous at all what you do is go to uh, say run anyway and uh, it'll come up this uh, this little window here and you can you can use project 64 or bizhawk with it I don't use project 64 I mainly use bizhawk but what you do is uh, you'll click on bizhawk and hit continue uh, if you already have BizHawk installed, like an older version of it, uh, you can find out where your BizHawk is on your computer and find it and install the Midos house onto your BizHawk. But if you don't have it, uh, ha uh, just click on Install BizHawk uh, 2. Uh, you'll click BizHawk. It'll ask you for permission. You click yes. And then. Uh, it will pop up this window right here you hit ok it'll go through the process of downloading uh, BizHawk and Mido House together okay. as you can see it says complete so all you do is you'll hit close I'll pull this up right here uh, uh, click finish It'll bring up two windows this window and this window this right here is the Mido's house and this right here is uh, the emulator uh, you'll click open file and get, uh, get your ROM uh, how you do how you get your ROM is uh, you, you'll need uh, a base ROM and the website to randomize your ROM so here's the website I usually get my ROM it has to be the uh, 1.0 version USA version of the game to actually use it for randomize once you uh, click download right here uh, it'll give you a time they'll start downloading once you have it you'll take it and uh, save it to wherever you want I uh, want it I'll just put it in my uh, downloads uh, after that uh, you'll go to the randomizer here's the website that you use to uh, randomize your ROM I'll put it down in the description now there's different types of uh, generators that you can use if you go up here to play now uh, you have the stable version which is the base randomizer the dev version with which has some extra stuffs in it uh, and these are uh, different types of dead version. This is multi-world tournament, so it's like multi-world tournament settings, or you go to you can go to uh, more dev forks. What this is, it, there's a uh, basically custom-made ones uh, that has different types of uh, uh, shuffles in it. Like this one right here ha has a enemy drop shuffle, to where if you kill enemies, they drop items. Uh, this one right here it adds. Uh, Pot sanity, crate sanity, and free sanding item sanity. 
So it, it even adds uh, silver rupees and all that. Uh, I don't know about these other ones because I haven't messed around with them or anything like that, but uh, you'll click on the Git's, uh, GitHub source and you can go through that and follow settings there and download those. But we're going to do the uh, stable version and show you how to set that up. So when, uh, when this uh, loads up, what you do is uh, if, you're, if you're doing a multi-world, you'll change the player count to how many players uh, are attending. And then uh, go through and set up your rules and stuff like, like that, how you want to set them up. And uh, your cosmetics and sound effects and stuff like that. Uh, once you had that, you'll come down here and hit generate seed. Once you have your seed gen uh, generated, uh, if you're playing with buddies, they, they'll have to customize their own cosmetics and sound effects by themselves. But uh, what you do is you take your base ROM that you downloaded and find it. Downloads. Open. Put it right there. Uh, Depending on what uh, player you want to be, if you're playing with multiple people, it can go up to one, two, three, how many player. Uh, but uh, you, you'll only choose that if, uh, yeah. After you insert your uh, player ID, you come down here and hit patch ROM. After a little bit, it'll uh, bring up in your downloads that. Uh, your patch ROM is uh, ready to go and uh, you can put it wherever you want uh, wherever it's easy easiest to find after you have your ROM what you do is you go to open ROM go into your folder of where your ROM is open it see right here it changed uh, where you'll find Midas house if it's now already open is you go to down to tools external tools and it'll be right there once you have your uh, game open everything like that you can go to your settings uh, and change like your sounds and all that uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your controls for your controller uh, for me I'm using a PS4 but it's pretty much the same for like other uh, controllers like Xbox and stuff like that so what you want to do is come up here to your controllers and uh, right here on player one what you do is clear everything uh, to where it's empty these top four do not fill in and start with the uh, pad uh, pads so you use your d-pad for uh, the deal so up down left right start Z targeting B a C up C down C left C right uh, L and R. R is for shield and everything like that. All right. So th this is what it should look like. Make sure you have the auto tab disabled and everything like that. Um, after you have your uh, trolls uh, set, uh, you can also go over to here for your console and set it to uh, set reset for your soft reset for uh, like for any keybind that you want. I usually set mine to R for reset. Uh, after that, uh, you hit save, and all your setting, your controller settings are saved to uh, your game.
once this window pops up and you have your ROM loaded, uh, loaded if you're doing multi-world, uh, the host will create a room. And a password. Once the room has been created, uh, you'll come in here and set up your uh, file. As it says, it says like one client with no world. Once you uh, create your file name, it will pop up your name. And basically you're ready to go once everybody is in and everything like that uh, if you're just playing solo you don't need Mido's house so you'll close that and just play on your ROM and that's how you set that up